So I've showed you before, but I'm gonna show you again a full body treatment. We're gonna start with a head release of the lymph in the head and neck, and then we're gonna move through all of the areas of the body to release and to open up the lymph pathways for the entire body. Then the third thing I'm gonna do is show you, I'll do a much closer up close, and we're gonna do what's called a, a umbrella reset. And this is to really connect everything together, especially from this kind of deep cisterna chile, and um, to help to open up and kind of release the organs as well. So follow me along. You can see it done in three different sections. Follow along with me and um, do as much as you can. I just have right here just an 89 cent toothbrush just because it's a light touch and so I'm not working too hard, too deep, too fast, too soon. Let's start out with um, the collarbones. We're gonna start out with the left collarbone and we're gonna just gently rub against the left collarbone. Nice and light. You can move your head around you want, all you want. And then we're gonna do five taps. And then we're gonna pull three times over the collarbone. Good, and then we're gonna do the right collarbone, same idea, nice and light. And for about five seconds or so, and then five taps. And then three pulls. Good, and then we're gonna go underneath the neckline here, so right up beneath the ear hole here. Just put that toothbrush in there and just rub down. We're going down towards the collarbone. This is a nice lymph node right here, right and above and inside that collarbone area. And then five taps and three pulls. We're also going down the sternocleoid mastoid muscle area here, go to the right side. Nice and light. And so that toothbrush helps you to stay light. Not a soft toothbrush, not a medium toothbrush, it's just a cheap toothbrush. Just to don't make, overthink it. Then you're gonna go five pats and three pulls down. Good, then we're gonna go along the jawline. Kind of like you're brushing your teeth. Up into that hole right there. And we'll go to the other side. And then we'll go five pats on each side and five pats on the other side and three pulls down and in and then towards the left side, down and in underneath that neck and then towards the left side. Then on along the, the TMJ here, right there, nice and light. So the idea is that there's this superficial layer of nerves that come up, we pull them to the surface, release the tension all the way to your ear five times. And then we'll do the other side and then pull down, sorry. And then do the other side. And it's a nice light. You want those, those just underlying tissues just to wake up, not be too annoyed. Then you give them a little tap changes the turpitation, changes the reason why things will wake up, and then we pull towards the area of the body that we're trying to draw the, um, the movement towards. Then we're gonna go up into the temple line and just kind of rub. So gentle again against this temple, the sphenoid bone. It's kind of the capstone bone of the brain, touches all other parts of the, the skull. And then tap gently and pull, go down the neck, pull, and then the other side. So why do we need to do our face? You get that tension across the sinuses. There's lymph or lymph all throughout the head. It helps to kind of release and draw that stuck tissue, stuck lymph out of these areas. And so that you're not getting swelling in those areas and the lack. Will your body figure out how to move some of this stuff? Of course it does. Of course it's not just gonna get permanently stuck. Your body's very smart that way. But at the same time, we're gonna go behind the back of the head here. So we're down here underneath the skull line and I'm just 
kind of just rubbing, yeah, I'm just rubbing with the back of the, um, the brush, mostly so I don't just completely destroy my hair. You can see I'm in great physical shape right here. Hair is all messy from the workout this morning. Good, and then we'll tap, and we'll tap on this side, and we'll tap on this side. You can see tenderness in here, so there's some swelling going on in there or something. Then I'm gonna actually take my hands and I'm gonna pull, and then I'm gonna come down the front line of my body. I'm gonna pull from the back to the front, pull from the back to the front. So that leads me into the next side. So this is something that you can start with. It's very easy. You may even feel like your arms are a little tingly. You may feel like there's some movement just happening in the body. You can stop here or you can continue on with the lymph nodes that are throughout the body. So we'll start once again with our left collarbone. Just go on the left collarbone with your fingers this time. Go a little bit deeper than you were doing before. Then you're going to pat five times. And then you're going to pull down into the collarbone right here. And then you're going on the right side. And then you're going to pat five times. And then pull across towards the other side. Then we're going to get in the brachial area here. For women, there can be a lot of stuckness in there. We get a lot of breast tissue in there. Go ahead and just kind of rub inside of there, inside that groove, at the at right where the chest meets. You might be able to feel some tenderness and inside your armpit. Then, and then pull up towards that collarbone. Good, and then on the other side, again, we start out light because we don't want to kind of just overactivate, get things tense and too tender too quickly. But then quickly we can kind of go into a little bit more vigorous fingers. And then we'll tap five times. And we'll pull up. Now I'm going to do another area that doesn't always get done, but our rib cage. The rib cage are all the way along there wraps around the whole body obviously a lot of muscular structure through there some tenderness people feel ticklish in there ticklish is a sign of tension building also good and then pat and pull up toward and above and into that collarbone and then on the other side so this is a great thing to do if you're feeling sluggish tired sore just went for a run, just got up and feel just gunky in the afternoon to kind of reboot the system. Now, the only reasons why to not do this is if you have more a kind of a lymph response where you maybe feel agitated or you may feel upset stomach or headache immediately, or maybe your digestion or elimination really changes. We're gonna go down the sternum. So we're gonna go up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side. When you cross this midline right here across the middle of the chest, it may be tender in there. There's another big lymph node right through the center there and all the way down to where the xiphoid process is, where the two sides of the rib line come together. And then we're gonna tap five times and pull up five times or three times rather. And then the belly. So your cisterna chile is right or about here on that right side. Big old um, um, <laughs> organ known as your liver is underneath that. And so we're just gonna kind of nicely rub right across that area all the way around the belly. And then pat and pull. And then we'll go in the inguinal joint right here where the torso meets the pelvis and the thighs. And inside there, you might find some tenderness as well. And then let's tap five times and then pull. So all of these are also in line kind of with energy pathways or movement trains or um, um, fascial lines, different areas. Inner thigh has a connecting to our reproductive organs as well as our elimination organs. We really want to get in there, get real tight in there. A lot of lymph in there, a lot of hormonal process in there. Good, go five. And then pull up. Good, and then back of the knee is another tender spot too. You might not notice back of the knee, but sometimes our knees bug us and we don't really know why. And it's really not our knee as far as all the structure goes. But the pressure of the lymph buildup 
is getting in there. One, two, three, four, five, and pull up one, two, three. Good, and we're just gonna bounce. And just kind of move everything up and around. You can bounce side to side. You can just kind of bop on your feet. You're not trying to bounce big. Good, take some breaths up. And again. Good. All right, so that is the head length. That's the body length. May feel a little bit more charged. And now we're gonna go to, and I'll show you how to do it. It's called an umbrella reset. A little bit more specific, but if you're having problem in the back, focus on the front. It's hard to get back there. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, laying down. So we finished doing our, our reset standing up. And um, after you've kind of learned how to do the head reset as well as the full body reset, we're gonna do what's called the umbrella. I want you to think of an umbrella like from the top of the umbrella down. This is the bottom of the umbrella. And you're gonna work down and back up, down and back up three times. And then you're gonna work around your belly like a clock. So if you start in the center of the clock as your belly button, and then you're gonna work all the way around in, in point six, and you've got six, seven, nine, ten, and so on around the clock. You're gonna work at those points, and then we're gonna work the organs, doing some scooping of the organs and trying to release all of the belly of the body as well. So again, after you've done your, your full body all the way down, head and shoulders, you'll start right up at your collarbone, right where the two points of the collarbone come together with the sternum, and then just rub right there in a circle and then back and forth and go right down the sternum, go in a circle and then back and forth, and then again in a circle and then back and forth, and then down right between this chest line, circle and back and forth, circle, and back and forth and down. And you're going all the way down past the xiphoid, past where the two sides come together, around and back and forth, circle and back and forth, and then you're gonna to get to your belly button and back and forth. Now, think of your belly button like the flat face of a clock. And so you're gonna start just about an inch off the edge of that belly button. You're gonna stick two fingers in there and you're gonna go around in circles three times and then up and down three times. Then you're gonna go just back to the top, so I'm at six, I'm gonna to go to 12 in that same spot, around in circle three times, up and down three times. Now I'm gonna go out to um, nine. So I'm gonna go all the way over here to nine, about the same spot, around in circle, little tender spot right there, up and down three times, then over to three, around in circles three times, up and down. Now I'm gonna hit the diagonals. So I'm gonna go down to about 4.30, right there at the edge of the belly button, around in circle three times, then about 10.30, and then back and forth three times. And then I'm gonna go about seven, around in circle three times, back and forth three times, and then I'm gonna go across to two o'clock or so. And then again, around in circle three times, and back and forth. Then I'm gonna go right back up, back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down. You can just kind of see how my hand is working. You can do both hands at the same time or just one. I'm just using one primarily so you can see. Back and forth, up and down, up and down, back and forth. And you're not pushing so hard that you can't handle the tension or the pain. You're just trying to find the ease of the movement, up and down, back and forth, up and down. Now we're gonna go over to the left side. So you're gonna feel those different rib joints. So in between those, up and down, back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down, back and forth. Tender on my left side, back and forth, all the way down. And we're going down into the belly, crossing over, kind of this is the, spleen side of my body, spleen, pancreas, down and over. Now, once we get back to the navel, we're gonna go another inch or so out. So we have the center of the navel here, and we were just on the round part of the navel. Now we're just gonna go another inch or so out. Same thing, fingertips in there, and you're gonna go around in circle, and then up and down. Then I'm gonna go over this time, this is nine over here. 
around in circle and then back and forth. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to, let's just say, that's 430, down to the far end, around in circle, and then back and forth. Remember, you're only an inch out from where you were before. I'm going to 1030, around in circle, back and forth. Then I'm gonna go down again on the opposite side, again to seven, around in circle, back and forth, and then up onto two, around in circle, back and forth. Now I'm gonna hit six o'clock because I'm gonna go right back up again, around in circle, back and forth, and then I'm gonna hit um, 12 o'clock here, around in circle, back and forth. And then I'm gonna take both hands up, and then I'm gonna go back up the outside of the umbrella. Remember, you're going up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side. You can have your knees bent if you want, if it's more comfortable that way, just to kind of relax the belly. You may even notice that you're kind of, kind of, moving stuff around in there, meaning you're kind of telling the body, I'm coming in after you, lymph, and I want you to release, and I want you to let go. So let's go to the other side. So over here, underneath the right collarbone. And again, this is very, just allow yourself to move through this. You may have some tenderness, you may not, and it may just feel like you're just kind of, you know, rubbing your skin back and forth. But the brain, the amazing thing about the brain is the brain comes to life and comes to the surface at the skin. So you're affecting your brain when you're doing this kind of stuff too. Back and forth, up and down, back and forth. Now I'm back in line with my belly, so I wanna go another about inch out. And I'm gonna start here again at nine o'clock. And so I've got my fingers around in circles, back and forth, I'm over at three around in circle, back and forth. I'm gonna to go to, on this one, about 4.30, around in circle, back and forth, up to about 10.30. Ooh, that's the that cisterna Kylie, that liver, back and forth. I'm gonna go over to 2.30, around in circles, back and forth, and then about 5.30, 6.30, around, oh, no, about probably 7.30, and back and forth. Good, I'm, once again, I'm at six o'clock, around in circles, back and forth. And then I'm at nine or midnight, around in circles, back and forth. And then I'm gonna go back up my right side, up, over, up, and over. Notice I'm just using both hands. You can use one hand as I get kind of towards my bra line. It gets a little bit harder because of my bra itself. Up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side. I can also notice I'm getting thirsty so my body's kind of trying to make that transition and try to bring fluid into the system to kind of hydrate so I'm going to drink some water after I'm done so now we're done with that we're going to kind of go all the way back down all the way down all the way down all the way past that navel then we're going to do what's called scooping so I'm going to start out with my with my um, right side here, right just in front of my iliac crest, which is the bone in front of my pelvis. And I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna pull up against the belly. Exhale, exhale. Pull the belly kind of towards the center as if everything comes towards a balloon knot right in the center. And again, then I'm gonna go to my um, left side, inhale, pull in, inhale and pull in and inhale and pull in. Then I'm gonna go up again to, the, to that right underneath my rib cage. So you can feel your ribs in there and I'm gonna pull in and then press down. I'm gonna press down towards the middle and I'm gonna press down. Then underneath this right wall right here, again, your fingers can kind of get underneath there. You press down and in, inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good, you feel that into my gut and everything. And then I'm just gonna kind of bring everything up, go right underneath the sternum, inhale, pull down, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good, and then I'm gonna go up and up and over, up and over, up and over, up side to side, up, side to side. Let's do our breathing again, kind of like we did when we were done with all those lymph node spots. Inhale, exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, and exhale. So 
So I'm going to show you <laughs> the umbrella reset positions. So you've got straight down the center of your sternum. Then you've got, and you're doing that up and down and side to side all the way. You're doing that on three sides. Also, three times around the belly button, you start at the center of the belly button, move to the outside edge. Remember, you're working like you're working 12 and 6 and then um, 9 and 3 and so on. You're always working around that belly button. You do close. A second, when you do the left side, you go out one inch. And then when you do the third, you go out one inch. Again, it's up and down and side to side about three times. Then you're going to go into, this is when you're laying down, you're going to go into that space right above your pelvis. Pull in, breathe three times, breathe once and release, breathe once, release, breathe once, release. Every time you inhale, exhale, pull, inhale, exhale, and again, and again, pull and release underneath the rib, underneath the rib, and right where the sternum and the xiphoid kind of come together and pull down the same idea. And then you'll take some nice big deep breaths and just relax and rest there. So the idea is to move down, back up, over, down, back up, over, down, back up, over. Again, it's an up and down, side to side. All right, so you've done all of those spots. You've done the head, you've done the torso, and then you've done that rainbow, or sorry, that umbrella reset. And it's like a rainbow. So give yourself the opportunity to now go get something to drink. Um, allow yourself some movement, so maybe go for a nice walk. And, um, and reset yourself all the way through. You could do this once, twice, maybe three times a week, but do a full reset. It could be done again in the middle of the day or it could be done later on in the afternoon. Allow yourself some wellness, allow yourself some movement, not just from the outside in, but from really kind of the inside out. Have a great day. Text me, call me, subscribe to my channel and so you can know when I have new exercise videos come out, new movement videos come out. Maybe even some new lymph training come out. And let's get that body moving better. Have a great day.